y'all this is Rochelle and welcome back to my channel Rochelle's plans today we're going to be planning in my plum paper 7x9 hourly planner okay y'all so before we get started in this week's spread um, here is what last week's spread looks like I did use a hand can plan kit for last week and it's called the sweet citrus i love how this turned out i love the colors um, i just love how vibrant and bright it is um, so yeah this is what last week's spread looks like it was a fairly busy week um, but that's typical for us anyway so now let's flip to this week's spread and we are going to be planning for the week of september the 20th through to the 26th okay so y'all if you haven't noticed i am doing a voiceover um for whatever reason on my iphone it did not pick up the sound so now i am doing a voiceover but here i'm just showing you guys where i keep my sticker kits this is a simply gilded sticker album I don't know if it's still available but um, it's a large it's not a sticker album it's just called a large album and this like I said this is where I keep my sticker kits um, these are new kits that are in this uh, album that I did show a sticker haul if you have not seen that video you can go ahead and check it out on my channel it shows a flip through or I just show you all of the stickers that I recently received from some small sticker shops but like I said here this is a simply gilded album large album and um, I got it I don't know a while ago I don't remember the color um, but yeah if you want to visit her shop I do have a referral link in the description box where you can get $5 off of your first $15 or more order. You get $5 and so will I. It's not an affiliate link. It is a referral link. And let me just say thank you to those who have used my link um, this past week. Um, I did show or I noticed that two people use my link. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really really appreciate it okay y'all so you do see here that that sticker kit those stick planner Kate sticker kits do not fit perfectly in the sticker album or the album so if you guys know um, of something else or a better system that I could use let me know because I am on the hunt uh, to make sure that I have those sticker kits somewhere protected so that way they're not being damaged or anything like that okay y'all so this kit here is kit 88 and it's called it's fall y'all so now what I'm just going to do is it looks like I am getting the individual headers here so that way I can just put the date headers at the top of the page. So y'all, I really do love this kit. This is a Fern Creek Stickers kit. Um, I was really excited to use it for the first week of fall. Now I'm just going to go into my planner bag of goodies and, my, and um, get my planner tools. I call this my Mary Poppins bag of planner goodies. So that's just a happy planner. Um, I don't even know what you call them. A happy planner little tote bag or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what the official name is, but that's from the happy planner. So now what I'm going to do is put the dates on the different uh, on the individual headers and then um, I'll be back
y'all so now i have the header the day headers down i have the bottom washi and the um top skinny washi down underneath the dates so i'm done with that sticker sheet there so now it looks like i'm just looking for the stickers to dress up my sidebar and i found them here i like to use these stickers here um each week well whenever i do the fern use fern creek stickers i love how she has the different stickers that will go in the sidebar so now here i pull this it's fall y'all decorative sticker and what i'm going to do is flip the pages back or flip the panner back on its side so that way i can cover up this calendar up here at the top okay we got it straight there so look how cute that is y'all it's so pretty so now just open it back up so that way you can get a look at it from it being from the open view so I think that was the this week sticker that I laid down or that I'm laying down okay so we have that one there and now we're going to come in with the weekly sticker in this turquoise or yeah that's turquoise in the turquoise color and I like to use this type of sticker to notate our meal our meals for the week okay so we have that one down and i think this one is the to do oh wait a minute i'm thinking here that i may want to switch up that this week and the to do stickers there but you guys will see what i do with that in a little bit So yeah, it's not going to stay down. So I'm going to take that one up. And you guys see how easily the Fern Creek stickers lift off of the plum paper paper. So yeah, I was putting the wrong sticker down. Okay, so now we're putting down the dinner header. So that way I can, like I said, notate the meals that we're going to have for the week. And I didn't get it straight there, wouldn't you know it? So I'm trying to straighten it up. Okay, I think we got it there. Then we're going to put the this week sticker back. Or did I put it back yet? No, not yet. So now I have the to do header. And then we're going to get the ombre checkbox and put it right underneath the to do header so that way I can list out my to do's for the week or my most important to do's I need to get done. So that way, when I look at my sidebar, I can quickly see what has to and what needs to happen for the week. It may not be on a specific day. I just know when I see it in my sidebar that that's important and it needs to happen sometime this week. So here y'all, it was crooked. And so I'm lifting up the sticker, trying to get it down straight. But y'all know, or if you watched enough of my videos, the plum paper, pap the plum paper paper does not coordinate with a lot of sticker kits especially the Chrissy Ann designs but Fern Creek I found it works really well so now I'm just coming in with my habit trackers here so here you'll notice I'm just going to readjust my habit trackers so I put that this week's sticker back and 
Now I'm going to get the Don't Forget header to put down. So that way I don't forget to do the things. Um, I don't forget my habits. So we got the first one down. And then we're going to put down the rest of them. And like I said, for this kit or in this kit, y'all, I actually get four. Typically, I only get, let's see, I think in the hand can plan, I only get two. Um, Chrissy and Designs, I think her kit may have two. But Fern Creek, for whatever reason, I don't know if I've always gotten four habit trackers, but I'm glad they would get four habit trackers. Now it gives me more things to track. And let's just see, you guys will see at the end of the week um, if I stay on track. So look how pretty that sidebar is, y'all. It is just so gorgeous. Y'all, now I'm going to come in with these quarter size boxes at the um, right above the thick washi here at the bottom. And what I like to use these event labels for are for notating my videos for the week. So I'm just gonna come in and put them down throughout the week for my different videos that I plan on recording and uploading. got my um, essentials sheet here and I like to start out by putting in my trash day trash and recycling pickup is usually on Mondays so I place down this trash day sticker here and then I go back at the essentials kit looking to see if there's anything else I can use from this kit that I can notate in my planner and this kit usually, or this sheet, has good prompts on there. So that's where I like to take some of my script stickers from. You notice there before I was pointing at the Monday through, or Saturday through Sunday, that's where I notate the dinners for the week. So taking up my sticky notes here, and Ryder has Oh, well, I'm going to put down my weekend sticker. I love the colors in this kit. And I like that I've seen sticker shops incorporate this turquoise color uh, for fall now. And I love turquoise. It's one of my favorite colors. So needless to say, I love this kit. So my puppy, Ryder, has a grooming appointment on Saturday. So I'm just gonna use this appointment label here to notate it. And I'm pretty sure it's at 8.30. So 8.30 grooming appointment. And I like the little pause that came in this kit. So you see here, I do have some grooming appointments that I ordered from Planner Kate. But I decided against it. I'm not going to use it for this spread. I'm going to use the one from the It's Fall Y'all sticker kit. So I'll put that there. And then we'll put back those grooming appointment stickers. Just put it back in the binder. And now I think we're done with that binder. 
So here now we're going to come in with our plans for the week. So that there is a sticky note from the Happy Planner that I used in my monthly spread. I use it in my weekly and now in my plum paper. I just transfer it. So that sticker is for writers his um, well plan visit for the bill I like to notate when that's going to come out it's an automatic draft even though it's coming out automatically I just like to notate it in my planner on my weekly pages so that I can keep track of it so we have that there and this is for um, YouTube pay so Gonna notate that with this turquoise like color box sticker here and I'm going to use this payday sticker just going to put it in the middle of the box here I was going to write it down but then I saw that there's a sticker for that so why not use the sticker Well, y'all, I thought I was done using the binder here, but no, now I'm looking for my holidays stickers because I don't have anything that says fall, or at least I didn't think I did, but I'm pulling here this Autumn Begin sticker. And again, this is from Planner Kate. I bought the January through December and then the July, no, January through June and then July through December um, holidays. So even though this basket of apples does not go with the color scheme, I'm still going to use it in this spread. I almost decided against it and then just didn't have anything down, but hey, I wanted to notate the first day of fall whenever I have a lot of um, a variety it takes me a little bit longer but you can see here I'm looking at the script stickers here so if I have a sticker for it where I don't have to write it down then I will definitely use it so we have another trash day sticker so trash goes out on Mondays and Thursdays so instead of putting that trash day sticker in a box, I just put it there at the 7.30 hour time slot and then use the other um, box sticker for um, payday. So Fridays are when I normally get paid from my regular nine to five. So I like to notate that there. I'm not gonna forget it, but I also just like to notate it. Okay, I'm going to come in here with, what is that, Bills, Bills Due sticker. Okay, decided against that one. Let's use another color. I think it was because I already had the same color there with Ryder's Grooming Appointment. So we're going to use this um, like camel color sticker here to notate that I need to pay a bill or bills on Friday then we'll come back to the script stickers here and let's see what we're going to use all right this sheet here is an add-on from the kit it does not come with the weekly kit but I like you buying that or getting that add-on because it gives it gives a lot of scripts for different things that you may have during the week that you can notate in your planner. So you see here, I'm going back to Tuesday because Tuesday I had a doctor's appointment that I wanted to notate. So we just put that there. And so now coming back to the scripts sheet and what am I looking for y'all? Okay, so I grabbed the meal plan sticker. I 
and eventually I'll put it down but where I don't know just yet because we have a lot going on on Saturday so the kids are out of school on Friday and then Saturday is the first no Friday is the first day for the State Fair of Texas so now I'm trying to decide which box sticker I want to use for this script sticker here that I already pulled okay so let's just pull up this sticky note for some bills that are due on Saturday we're going to notate it there with this pattern box here once I get it straight we'll put it down in the time slot okay got it down now So I'm still fiddling around with this meal plan sticker here, trying to figure out when I'm actually going to do my meal planning. Like I said, this weekend is going to be a busy week. So we'll figure it out here in a minute. So where is it going to go, y'all? <laughs> is it going to go on Friday or Saturday? Y'all, if you hear some panting in the background, that is my puppy. He is ready to play this morning. I'm not sure what is going on with him, but yeah, he is ready to play. I think he knows it's about time for me to get ready to go to work. And he starts all of this panting and wanting to play and everything. So if you hear that in the background, I do apologize. But that's him ready and wanting to play. Okay, y'all. So put the meal plan sticker down on Saturday finally right we finally put it down on Saturday and so coming in here again for some more box stickers for the rest of the plans so what I'm gonna do is um yeah we're coming in for this no school here for the no school sticker so again like I just said Friday there's no school and I'd, I'd like to capture that even though I'm not going to forget I still like to put that in my planner I don't know it makes it look fuller it doesn't look as bare and I have the sticker for it so why not use it and plus they're cute so we'll put the no school sticker here on Friday well let's try to get it centered yeah, I know I like to try to center those stickers as best I can. Okay, so we have the sticker down. The, we have the no school sticker down. And I'm trying to see what else I'd like to use. Okay, y'all, so now it's time for me to come in with my full decorative boxes. I do this every week through the time slot I think it's 11 to 1 yeah I'm at work that time anyway so why not come in and put down some decorative full boxes to get my page or my spread that um, just to judge it up a little bit more so what I'm doing here is I am alternating the pumpkin and the leaves throughout the week. So I'm gonna speed through this. Okay, y'all, so I have the um, full boxes, the decorative full boxes laid down. And look how pretty that looks throughout the week. Um, I also, you can see here, put in some more plans um, on Sunday. Cheer practice, Saturday is the state fair. And then I also work on Sunday. Now I just grab some checklist here just to put throughout the week so that way I can 
capture what chores I'm going to get done for the week. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just snip off a little bit of that checklist off the top. So that way the checklist line up perfectly, the boxes line up perfectly with the lines on Wednesday. Okay, so we have that blue one down. Let's open it back up, open the planner back up, and then we're going to get one more. I'm only going to put two for the week. Excuse me. So it looks like we're going with this mustard color here. I'm going to do the same thing and just snip off a little bit off the top. So that way it can line up. The check boxes will line up on Thursday. Again, these are going to be for my chores that I want to get done on those days. I'm not going to exactly write them in just now um, while I'm doing this plan with me because there will be different things that I, I see that I want to get done. So I'll write those in at a later time. It looks like now I'm looking at these um, half box stickers here. Okay, so we pulled another pattern one, and this is it's kind of like brown plaid box. And this is what is this for? Let's see here. I can't remember, y'all. Okay, so it's Friday night, and my daughter cheers for varsity high school varsity, and so we play. Waxahachie, Waxahachie, however you want to say it. I'm not from here, but I just like to notate that also in my planner. And then let's see what else. Oh, uh, looks like here, I forgot to write down the habits that I want to track. So we're going to zoom in some and write down my habits here. Or are we going to do my dinners, yeah, we'll do the dinners first. And even though I write in what we're gonna have for dinner on certain days, it doesn't mean that it's set in stone because hey, dinner time in the Williams household is always fluid. So I have down spaghetti for Monday. Okay. I think we're gonna have or do tacos on Tuesday. Wednesday is going to be leftovers of some sort, either the spaghetti or the tacos. Thursdays or Thursday is going to be this FFY that I've seen other planner babes do, uh, which is fend for yourself. So that's what that FFY is for. And then Fridays is usually takeout. Saturdays are usually takeout as well. And then Sunday is questionable because I don't know yet what I'm going to cook. My to-do list is going to stay blank because I'll notate that at a later time also. And then now I'm just looking back here at the different habits that I want to capture in my planner so looking back here um, I know one habit is always going to be my daily devotion I like to get that in daily another habit and then sometimes I don't get it in and that's okay um, I may just read a verse on my iPhone on my iPhone on my phone through the Bible app. So if I don't necessarily get to devotion that day, at least I am getting some word in. Okay, y'all, so I've gone ahead and put in all of my um, habits. I have my daily devotion. I'm trying to get done 48 ounces of water. I notated reading and my birth control. And so you see here that it's not perfect. It's not ever going to be perfect, but I'm still going to track it. So that way I can see 
where I'm at each week. So now I'm putting I'm uh, putting up everything because this plan with me is um, done now that I have all of my habits in. Okay, y'all, so here is my completed spread. I love how this kit turned out, or I love how this spread turned out using this It's Fall, y'all, sticker kit. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Plan with Rochelle. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.